Hello everyone, today we will talk about deepfake detection by analyzing convolutional traces, a work by Luca Guarnera, Oliver Giudice, that's me, and Sebastiano Battiato. What are deepfakes? The term refers to all those multimedia contents scientifically altered or created by exploiting machine learning generative models. Various examples of deepfake involving celebrities are easily discoverable on the web. We understand that deepfake represent a big problem, specifically when mass media are involved. For this reason, it is necessary to create new deepfake detection techniques in order to counter this phenomenon. To understand how to develop a deepfake detection technique, we need to know where does deepfake come from. Specifically, they are generated by GAN, which are convolutional neural networks, on which the basic element is the convolutional operator, which is guided by the kernel. Some of the most common kernel sizes are reported in the slide, 3, 4, 5, 7. In this work, we focus on the analysis of images representing human faces, but trying to detect convolutional traces hidden in those images, a sort of fingerprint left during the generation process. State-of-the-art methods based on CNN demonstrated to be ineffective for this task. We also tried the VGG and the ResNet solution, achieving terrible results. For this reason, we propose a new de deepfake detection technique based on expectation and maximization algorithm. We employed a specific dataset for the task composed by real images of faces coming from the celeb A dataset and fakes coming from five different techniques with pre-trained models. We start from the input image, we separate it into the three color channels RGB and separately apply the EM algorithm in order to reconstruct the distribution of probability for pixels related to a specific image generation process. To do this, we exploit pixel special correlations inside a specific kernel dimension. The parameters found by the EM algorithm are the feature related for each color channel, which are concatenated into the final one. Further details of these techniques are reported on our paper. Extract the feature from all of our images in our dataset, we employed naive classifiers like KNN, SVM, LDA to solve a binary classification problem between a real image coming from celeb A and an image coming from one of the five different techniques. Results have proven that uh, the, the feature is discriminative enough to differentiate between celeb A and each of the five techniques. Please notice that uh, the most significant uh, parameter is the dim dimension of the kernel used by the EM algorithm. This is related to the convolutional traces left by the generation process that are specific for each generative technique. To further demonstrate the robustness of our technique, we tried a binary classification problem with different classifiers for the problem of detecting images coming from cell A and images coming from five, the five different generative, generative techniques. We achieved a best result of over 90% of accuracy. Much more experimental results are available at this link. Experimental results have proven that our method is able to extract a fingerprint in some way representing the convolutional traces left by the generative process. We think that the role of kernel dimensions will, could be further investigated and give to our method much more explainability. Thanks for your attention.